First, I would like to welcome Anne Ricard from the Institut National Agronomique, INRA, who will tell us more about the results from the Interstallion project on prerequisites for international genetic evaluation in show jumping. Please, Anne. So, <coughs> I'm going to present you the results of this very odd project. But I, first of all, want to thank all my colleagues which supervised all this uh, study, and uh, the names of these colleagues are put here. So, as it was told to you before, Interstellions was a group funded uh, by uh, the European Association for Animal Production and supported by the World Wedding Federation for Sport Horses, ANICA, in 1998. In uh, 2006, uh, the group proposed uh, a pilot project uh, which aims to evaluate the feasibility of international breeding value of jumping horses. Two PhD students were recruited, Emma Torren Elsen, which is now well known, uh, and Catherine Ruhlman, and they did all the work about the study. So this presentation is a story of the Interstellion Pilot Project 2. And uh, I will uh, summarize again for you what is a breeding value, an international breeding value, and so what is a breeding value. So a breeding value is a breeding, uh, is a, uh, try to predict the quality of the production of a stallion, or a mare, but we will focus on stallions for a threat, and for example, the threat here was the success in jumping competition. And to do that, it uses results in competition of the horse itself and of all its relatives, meaning sa, dam, horse sibs, ground size, progeny, where all horses related to the horses of interest all along the pedigree. And so, international breeding value predicts the quality of the production of a stallions in all participating, participating countries of the, in the international breeding program, even if the stallions has no breeding value in each country. This is not an overall ranking of the stallions, this is as many rankings of all stallions as number of countries involved. And I will present you the same figure that was presented before, but I replaced bulls by stallions. If you have breeding values of three stallions in country A and three other stallions in country B, after the breeding value international process, we will have six breeding value in country A for all stallions and six breeding value for country B for all stallions. Not that, <coughs> the ranking of stallions is not the same in the two countries and even more, the hierarchy between stallions may be not the same in the two countries. That is because of a genotype and environment interactions a stallion may sweet better in one environment, an environment in this case is a country, meaning different mares, different riders, different rule of competition than in another. So, what do we need to calculate international breeding value? We need, we need national breeding value of stallions and <coughs> identification of each stallion and all of its pedigree. The national breeding values used to perform international breeding value are calculated from national competition and international competition. Why do we use national competition? Because we have to have also low level competition to distinguish good and bad horses, which are international ones, 
and to have an ID of all the production of the stallions, because wedding value, the objective is to predict the production, the, all the production of the stallions. And of course, we have also international competition because it is the best horses and the more famous. So, coming back to the objective of the pilot project. The objective of the pilot project was to evaluate the feasibility of an international breeding evaluation of jumping horses. And for, to do that, we have to answer to two questions. The first question was, is there a sufficient number of stallions with progeny in different countries or which are in parental relationship with stallions in different countries to be able to compare them? And the second question is, are the measurement of performance sufficiently close to one country to another so that the results in one country give reliable information about results in another one? So to do that, we used data, and data was breeding value for jumping competition in seven different countries involving Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Ireland, <coughs> Sweden, and the Netherlands. Result, uh, building values was obtained from 22 breeding organizations belonging from these seven countries. Germany and the Netherlands were, were only involved in the first part of the project, the first question, <coughs> and not in the second part of the, que of the project, the second question. We used uh, breeding values of about 9,000 stallions, and uh, these 9,000 stallions were from 24,000 ancestors. So there was first a very big work to know who is who in the different files in the, for the different countries, even if there was already a unique uh, uh, equine life number. It was not so easy to uh, <coughs> put all the data together. The breeding value of these stallions were calculated from very different criteria and models according to each country, choice, and specificity. Most of the criteria was where ranks in each event or points distributed according to the rank in the event and the technical difficulties according to a scale which is specific of each country. And uh, after allowing points, some countries use uh, annual cumulated points or life cumulated points or maximum cumulated points. It depends on uh, the country. And the model <coughs> involved a year of performance, age, sex, riders, and so on. So the results from the analysis of this data. For the first question, which was, uh, is there a sufficient number of stallions with progeny in different countries or with parental relationship in different countries to be able to compare them, what we call connectedness. I will present to uh, you only one result uh, to respond to this question, which is the number of common stallions between countries in 2006. And as you can see, there was there were at least uh, 1,000 stallions per country, and uh, always stallions in common between two different countries, uh, and most, 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 mostly more than, four, uh, than 40,000 between two countries, and very often more than 100 stallions between two countries. We use uh, uh, several scientific measurements better than the, the count of stallions to measure correctly the connectedness between countries. Uh, in this table, the case of Sweden uh, in that first part of the study was not representative of what it is it will be uh, in the second stage of the study and uh, not representative of what it is in prison because at this stage we only had a, a sample of, very, of uh, stallions with a very large number of progeny 
only 67 stallions, and it was not representative of uh, the case of the Sweden. In the second part of the study, we had 2,000 stallions from Sweden, so it is more uh, uh, reliable. In all other cases than Sweden, the connectedness was sufficient to allow international wedding values with all the measurements we used. So it is easy to predict that it will be much larger nowadays according to the increase of the extent of commercial exchange. Now for the second question, which was, uh, are the measurement of performance sufficiently close to one country to another so that results in one country give reliable information about results in another one, what we call genetic correlation. Genetic correlation is a, a value which can be between minus one and plus one, and the closer it is from one, the closer are the threats in the different countries. So one is good and zero is bad. And you can see in this table that uh, the correlation was always very high, higher than 0.7, 70, and uh, most often higher than 0.80. Because of the withdrawal of Germany and the Netherlands, genetic correlation were not computed with Ireland because Ireland, in Ireland, most of the stallions which made the connection between countries are from, were from Germany and the Netherlands. So we can't calculate the correlation. But for all other cases, correlation was very high, which allows for an international genetic evaluation. But remember that correlation are different from one. So the ranking of stallions will be different in the different countries, as we shown in the beginning of the talk. So in conclusion, an international winning value evaluation was possible in 2008 and so will be in 2019. I think that country without national evaluation can join the team, for example, by approaching a nearby country that can process their data, pedigree and genealogy using their own experience. In all cases, a huge work must be done to identify correctly stallions and pedigree between countries. Obviously, there will be a, a lot of practical issues that was pointed out uh, previously, financing, scientific team, in relation with Interbool. But once again, international breeding values can be calculated from national breeding values without any change in criterion models of each country, which is so very simple. There is no change in the national breeding evaluation of each country. But also, if you want, from raw data, may, but maybe more complex. International breeding values are a multiple ranking system, one ranking for each country and not a unique ranking system because each country is a different environment, meaning mares, riders, and rules of competition, even if they compete at a high level, in the international level, together. International wedding values include national results and international results. And that's all I will tell you. <laughs> So thank you very much. And do we have any questions from Anne at this moment? Yes, Chris, please. Yeah, I think before we go too far, for those of us that are not um, clear on this, it's a bit of a surprise when you suggest that there will not be one international breeding value that would come out of this ranking system because of the country correlations. And, and so if you could explain that just a little bit more, because I, I think many of us will have been assuming that if you have an international breeding value, you're going to get one number for each horse. And you're suggesting that you will only have a number for each country for that horse and that it will be different based on the, uh, on the uh, genetic correlations. And 
maybe tell us a little bit how those are calculated and why it's important to have that as a calculated value since we've already shown that there's a very high correlation in terms of genetic relatedness between the, the uh, stud books. Yes, there is high correlation, but not one. So that means that the environment uh, is different from one country to another. When, when you think about uh, only one ranking, is that you think about only international results. And that's where all horses compete together. So you mean the uh, 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 same environment and uh, 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 so one ranking. But in that case, in, in international value, value, you use all results in national country also. So uh, due to the different mares, riders, and rules of competition, you, don't, you, you, you will not have the same ranking in each country. <laughs> I don't know if uh, you yeah, can better wait, explain. Wait, was that the same situation with the cattle? Yes, yes. Okay. We have more time for one or two more questions, if there are any at this stage. No? Okay, thank you very much, Anne.